Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about social media and how you can use that within your website if you're trying to create that link between all of your social media accounts and your website and also to help build engagement because that is really, really important. If you disassociate them and don't make that link between people looking up your social media, your followers and things like that and they're not visiting your website, well then what is the point? You want to try and make this kind of like community or this area where people can come and find out about you, but also engage with you as well. Now, WP Social Ninja, um, I find is a really, really amazing tool. It is free, there is a pro version, I'm focusing on the free, but WP Social Ninja does so much stuff for you. Let me just show you here. It will allow you to add in your social reviews from Google and other places like that. You can add in feeds from Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube feed as well, the Facebook feed, uh, is currently with Pro. I hope they make that free, but, but then again, though, if you're using stuff like Publa, which is a fantastic tool for publishing to Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook at the same time, well, if you're repeating your feeds anyway, the fact that Facebook is on a Pro doesn't matter much unless you're trying to build up your Facebook community. So I hope they make that free at some point. And if they're watching this, please make it as part of the free package. But also a really cool thing about this is the social chat. So for the free version, you can link this into your Facebook Messenger. So when you have a chat icon appear on your website in the bottom corner, when someone sends a message, you're not having to log in elsewhere. It will be on your Facebook Messenger, which you can probably access on your phone. So it's a really good win-win situation. It is free. So let's just go ahead and install it, which we have. And I'm now going to go through the settings. Now, once it's loaded up, you want to go over to the left hand side of your WordPress uh, dashboard, and it's quite near the top. So, WP Social Ninja. And when you go in, you will get taken to a screen where you can now start to add in your um, different accounts. I've added in Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Why? Because they were free. There are other accounts as well that you can add, add in, but they are part of the pro package, and you're going to have to pay for that. Let me just show you what the pro package is, though. So you need to uh, uh, you need to upgrade to pro to use this feature, right? Where do I upgrade to pro? Sorry, here it is. Upgrade to pro. That was kind of in the yellow. I should have spotted that. So what is the pricing for this? Now the pricing, in my opinion, is quite high. They will say this will not break the bank. I kind of have a like. Well, okay, you are asking me to pay ninety nine dollars. It is a lifetime deal, though. It's not per year, it's for one license for the domain, but it is a lifetime. And I would probably say if you're massive about your social media marketing, $99 for a lifetime deal is a bargain. If however you're just starting off, I would probably say have a think about the free model for now and then go into this. Now I don't know how long this offer is gonna last for, okay? It's gonna jump back up to 198 tomorrow, next week, next year, I don't know. It doesn't actually tell us how long it's free for. Is this a marketing ploy? And it's always gonna be 99 for the next 10 years. I don't know, but hey, look, I would say have a good think about what works for you. And by the way, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, and share, and follow us on all of our social media accounts, okay? Um, and please do drop a message so we can help you with Elemental and WordPress to help you, your clients, and your business. So we have accounts for Airbnb, Trustpilot, Amazon, Google My Business. There's loads of good stuff here. If you've got lots of reviews dotted around the place and you want to bring them all into one, you know, website, this is a great tool for you, except you're going to have to upgrade to Pro. So I link in, by the way, to your social media accounts was dead, dead simple. You just click Twitter. It then says authenticate, you know, so it, you know, because I've already logged into Twitter earlier, it authenticates, job done. YouTube, you click it, it then just gets you to do your Google verification, job done. Instagram, it goes into Facebook, you verify, job done. I mean, literally, I did all of those in five minutes. All three, five minute job, job done. What you can also do is do your chat widget as well. So I've enabled this, and what you do is you click it to add a new widget. And then you will go to your Facebook account, whether it's your group, your page, or your personal, you go to your Facebook account. There are instructions, by the way, okay, in the support. There is documentation. They tell you what to do. You go to your Facebook profile, 
you go to your account and it will tell you your username. So most, a lot of the time, if you click on my personal Facebook, you sometimes might see Imran.Sadiq, uh, da, 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 da. there'll be a little bit of a code. That is my unique user ID. That ID you drop into here. And once you've dropped that into here, I'll show you what it is in a moment, you will get a messenger icon. Well, I'll, just bear with me, I will show you what I mean by that. The other thing I do wanna mention though is that is when you do the social feed, you do get to, um, where is it, where is it? Sorry, not here, template. When you create a social feed, you create a template. The template is dead, dead simple. Let me just move myself out of the way over here. If I go over to the Twitter, no, we'll go to the YouTube template over here, right? That's currently copied it. And what you would do is you would copy that and you can stick that into a page, which I will show you. But here is the YouTube um, uh, feed at the moment. And it's pulling through all of my videos, anytime I've done a community post, anything like that. I can, if I want, stick in my ID. I can stick in, um, basically I can decide if it's gonna be one column, two column, three column. I mean, look, let me just do four column. You know, so if I wanna have it look a certain way, I can do that, okay? Um, by the way, this one says preloader because it's a scheduled video and it's not come out yet. I can see that, but you wouldn't see that. So you can decide on the look of it. You can have filters for particular videos or stuff you wanna do. Same with Twitter. Do you wanna show every time you retweet or reply, stuff like that, or do you just wanna show instant posts? You set up your template. Now, once you've done that, and you would have seen that, uh, let me come out of that, you have these short codes, you can drop them on a page. So over here, I have a short code for Twitter, a short code for YouTube, and a short code for Instagram. So I'm just showing you as an example, three of them. And down here is the messenger chat box. It automatically appears. You don't have full control over what pages it appears. It will just appear without fail in the bottom corner of your page. If that works for you, great. If not, you might wanna think about other tools, but I think it's really cool. And by the way, that messenger, you can change the color. So I've picked a pinky red color there. You can pick whatever color you wanna go for, okay? You're not limited to what I'm showing you here. Now, if I was to, for instance, now just do a preview, okay? And just slightly move myself out of the way over here. Well, I've kind of not moved my way. Let me just do this. Let me shrink myself down a bit. Like so, hi, I'm still here on the page. So look, there we have my feeds. And look, you can even start to play the video. You're not gonna get any sound because I've, I've knocked the sound down on here but you can start to play um, videos you've got. What I did find though with the YouTube is the YouTube doesn't seem to play. You click it and it doesn't play. So I don't know if that's a bug or a glitch somewhere, but it doesn't play. So that's one for the developers to look at. But you also have your Instagram as well. So this I set as a one column because I was showing you three examples. I could have had four column, five column, six column, whatever you want. So you can have now an Instagram, Twitter, all of these different feeds showing up on your page, what I think is really, really useful. And then look at the messenger one at the bottom over here. Now, when I click this, I have I I have, I've just used the default settings and it gives me a picture of a lady and her name is Danny Williams. And when I hit start chat with, it will allow me to chat and that message is gonna come through onto my Facebook messenger, whether I access it on a machine or a phone or whatever. Now, this person here, this is what it comes with default. If I go back over here and I go to all chat widgets, let me just bring myself back into view over here because I like to be in your face as I'm talking. And I'm gonna go to edit, okay. I can now start to mess around with these settings. So if I go to the template, um, you only get one standard template by the way. I mean, there are some other alternates like here. So you got general, which is that, or you have support. Other ones, you know, you're gonna have to pay for the pro version, but we'll just leave it on general for now. Okay, let's just get, where's it? Where's the icon gone for that? There we go. And then we do have some options for like chat header. So you can now pick a totally different face. So let's just change this and just, well, I haven't got any images here, so I can't do it. But we could pick a different face. You could have a different welcome message, you know, the buttons, um, start chat with. You can even start to, um, you don't get much options here, by the way, with what you can do. You only get one icon that you can use, which is that. Um, you also have the settings. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. There you go, style. So with the settings, you can decide if it's gonna be bottom left, bottom right, top, and all of that. Bottom right is always the best one, in my opinion, for chats. 
but here you have the style. So I could now say the background bubble color is going to be, let's go for a, a, a greeny, a bright, there we go, we'll go for that green color. So you can start to mess around with the color scheme and you can even change the header background. So I'm on purpose gonna pick black and I'm gonna say the text color is white. So when we now click it, we get uh, black like that. So you can change the look of it uh, to a point in, in terms of how you want it to look. And by the way, look, this is totally free. And we've tested this out and this works. So if you wanna have a fake name, which I would say isn't always good, but if you wanna have a fake name and a fake avatar, go for it. You wanna put your avatar and your name, go for it. It's, um, it's totally free and really good to use. So that was WP Social Ninja. I mean, I haven't gone through every setting because there's loads of other videos and documentation about it, but I'm just telling you, this is super, super good and I recommend it. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe and follow and I'll see you soon.